Welcome back to my channel. It's the May holiday and it's getting really hot here. It's summer is definitely coming. Today I would like to talk about SEO for artists and perhaps it's kind of out of blue and I want to talk about it because those days I've been meeting a lot of artists from all over the world in Beijing in an art fair, in an event, exhibition or in an open studio and I realized whenever I told those artists that my job was SEO for artists and they gave me the face like they had zero clue what I was talking about. And this is such a shocking news to me because okay, SEO could be a new thing to the art world, but it's such an amazing, beautiful, free digital marketing tool that it would be a mistake not to know about as an independent artist, as an art business owner, especially gallery or like an artist studio manager. It could be a costly mistake overlooking this very important component of your digital marketing plan. So today I would like to talk about what is SEO and how artists could benefit from using SEO tools and this video will be just a scratch of the surface. I made an outline and I will have to speed up because I have a lot to talk about in this video. If you would like to know more about SEO and digital marketing for artists, make sure you click on the subscription button. In the future I will be uploading more step by step videos on how to improve your ranking on the search results as an artist or as an art business. Stay tuned. So what exactly is this SEO? Let's go back to the very beginning of the basics. SEO means search engine optimization and I'm sure you have experienced this as a user of search engine. Imagine you'd like to search for something. Uh, for example, you want to buy some art prints because you love art and you want to decorate your new office or your new home with art prints and you searched or perhaps you googled or you baidu or you binged by art prints and you see a list of search results and those results were not created equally. You could see some results are on top and some are not even on the first page. Why is that? Because some websites or web pages used SEO tools and SEO optimized way to write their content and some did not. So if you want your results to rank on top, you need to follow certain rules and use certain strategies and this is completely for free. As you can see in this example by art prints, you can see on top there are some results. It says AD. Those are advertisement. Those are paid results. They did not do it organically. They paid. And this is the main difference between SEO and SEM. SEM stands for search engine marketing. And those AD signs means that they used a Google campaign to pay for those rankings. And this is not very sustainable. If you have a lot of money and you have a big business, this is great. You can have immediate results and you can uh, shortcut a lot of uh, like curve of growth. But the problem is it's not sustainable. As soon as you stop paying them, you will just rank bottom. You hit a bottom and nobody will find you again and you have to start working from the beginning. As an artist, as a creative professional who might not have a lot of money, it is great to use SEO tools because all you need is to create content and you don't have to spend a penny at all. I promise you and I will be showing you how we did it in just a minute. We could rank on top without paying a penny. And perhaps you say, I'm just an art student, and perhaps later I want to work with the art gallery and the gallery will do all my job and I don't have to worry about my communication at all. Why would I even care about the search results and this and that? Perhaps right now you would not care. But the problem is, if you don't have your own communication, you're not ranking on top. As an artist yourself, independently, your life and your career will depend on the gallerists. One day if they dump you, you'll be left with nothing and you have to start from the zero. And it's such a painful process, especially if you're already mid-career and you have such a loss and you'll be so frustrated and it can be a very costly mistake not having your own strategy and not having like, like the steering wheel of your art career in your own hands. And having this SEO strategy means you can rank on top without spending money and it can bring you many good things. For example, it can give you the exposure that you always wanted. It can help you grow your social media to have traffic to your website and eventually you could have enough traffic to sell art prints, even digital downloads or Patreon or perhaps whichever thing that you want to launch, you will have a fan base, a large community of art lovers who are diehard fans of your art. It's just a very good feeling that you know that you're not nobody on the internet apart from your already existing communication 
in, in the physical world, not in the digital world, having a good digital strategy does not stop you from having a good print strategy or face-to-face, mouse-to-mouse, like a, a gallerist relationship strategy. It doesn't matter. You can still go about your day-to-day -day life and you know carry out your life, do your job and do everything normally and just spend a couple of hours every week working on your SEO strategy, on your own communication. Having a good SEO strategy and ranking on top of search results will help you get discovered by perhaps gallerists, museums, and curators and in general it won't hurt you and just by having this it gives you an extra boost. Now I would like to share with you how we ranked on top this keyword Madrid art fairs. I was writing an article on art fairs because I'm interested in this dynamics of art fairs although I'm not a big believer in art fairs but I was nevertheless curious and I would like to uh, communicate about art fairs in Madrid because we are based in Madrid, Spain. During the art fairs, our article did not rank top one because some other art fairs would boost and they would pay and they would work very hard. But there is a seasonality. When the art fairs is not going on, they would drop their communication because they don't have a very good team that is you know, operating during the year. They would probably hire agency during the high seasons and before the art fair, like one month, and then during the art fair one week, and that's it. But our article was constantly updated, it reworked, and it's very complete, and it gathered all the information and reviews, and original content with quality, and some photos that I took, some videos, and my article could rank on top as soon as the competition closed down, because they closed shop after the art fair already took place. And this is my opportunity. As you can see, See, to rank on top of this keyword Madrid art fairs, I didn't even need to open an art fair myself. I don't even need to be a magazine or like a major institution. I could still rank on top. It's not that difficult as long as you choose the right keywords. Perhaps you may ask, I'm an artist, I paint abstract paintings, what is my keyword? And this is really different from the exact type of art you paint, the subjects, the style, also your region, your language. It could be a case-by-case -case thing and I cannot tell you like a one size fits all. And if you're interested in knowing more, drop me a comment below. Perhaps I can check out your website and give you some more personalized suggestions. But in general, you have to do your research and use some free tools with this uh, keyword research tools so that you could come up with more intelligent, less competition keywords so that you're not entering in a high competition area. For example, art. Like there's no way that you can rank on top art. For example, abstract art. You'll be competing with abstract artists from all ages, all regions, all periods, and it's gonna be very hard. And you could do a research and perhaps come up with a long tail keywords that is a little bit more complicated, more niche, so that you have less competition. And maybe you can add your region, like abstract artist in Beijing, or you know, buy abstract art in blah blah blah, so that you could could uh, at least you know, avoid some competition from other regions in the world because there are hundreds of artists who are willing to work on their communication and compete in this keyword. That's all what I want to talk about today. It's just an intro video on SEO for artists. If you're willing to know more, make sure you click on the subscription button. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.